Welcome to our preview of our 2021 FBA KETAM conference. I am joined by Jennifer Short, who is our co-chair this year, a partner at Kaiser Dillon. Jen, uh, this year we have a conference built around the FCA in times of crisis. Tell us a little bit about the theme that you and Natalie Waits have chosen for this year's conference. Yeah, so who would have guessed when we started planning this conference uh, back in April of 2020 uh, that the, the pandemic, the COVID crisis would be continuing. Um, but there we were right at the start of COVID uh, and the pandemic and thinking about how the False Claims Act is really a statute that was born out of a time of crisis, national crisis. Um, you know, it's referred to as the Lincoln Law. It was first enacted in 1863. And if you look over the history of the, the statute and how False Claims Act jurisprudence and the language of the act itself has been, has evolved and uh, the language has been amended over the years, it is actually in those times of crisis uh, that lead to some significant changes in the law. You can look at um, there were amendments in World War II and even more recently in 2009, substantial amendments to the act. And so here we are again uh, on, a, on a precipice of uh, potentially some really significant changes to the law. Um, we've got both uh, the, the con we've got a confluence now of the pandemic crisis, the increased spending by the federal government to address that crisis, to address the economic fallout from that crisis. And at the same time, over the last few years, we've had some significant um, developments in the case law um, that are affecting how the False Claims Act policy is looked at. So you can go back to, to Escobar. We've got an emerging circuit split uh, on the issue of how false or fraudulent should be looked at under the act. Um, so all of these things are coming together. And so that was the genesis. Let's look at um, the False Claims Act and how the, the act and how the enforcement around the False Claims Act reacts uh, to moments like we find ourselves in uh, today. So tell us about some of the panels, maybe. Uh, any that you're excited about? So I'm excited about all of the panels. Uh, we really have such a great group of moderators and speakers joining us. Um, for folks that have been to this conference before, uh, some of the, the layout, the, the overall structure will seem familiar. So we have some great panels that are gonna be focusing on these big picture policy, you know, legal evolution issues. Um, you know, one panel that, uh, that, that we thought of really early on is um, should the, the False Claims Act be amended to include a specific definition of falsity? Um, you know, we're, we've got a great group of people who will be thinking about that uh, and talking about that. Uh, we also have uh, just, again, conceptually on, on policy issues, uh, we have folks from offices of inspector general joining us to talk about the role of the OIG. We have congressional staffers joining us to talk about how Congress looks at the act and looks at enforcement of the act. So there are several panels that focus on policy issues. And then we get down to some really practical focuses. So uh, a number of panels that are lined up for this year will focus on industry groups. So uh, False Claims Act in uh, procurement, False Claims Act in healthcare, which is going to be huge given where we are, uh, grant fraud and small business fraud. And then finally, we've got just for the, the lawyers, the, the practical, the, the very on the ground, what is it like to put together one of these cases? So we have a great panel uh, with government speakers and Relators Council talking about what looks like a good key TAM case to them. Uh, and then on the defense side, how can you advocate for your client uh, when um, you're a defendant and your, your client's been accused of violating the False Claims Act? What are some strategies uh, that you can use on the defense side of the cases? And then finally, we'll wrap things up with some judges and their thoughts on how to manage these cases uh, during the investigation and during litigation and even when it goes to trial. So we, it's running the full gamut with all sorts of perspectives coming in this year. It's going to be great. And we have a very special keynote speaker. 
We do. So um, uh, we are really pleased that Senator Chuck Grassley is going to give our keynote address. He is uh, primed to talk about the False Claims Act and whistleblowers uh, from that, that historic perspective. Also somebody who's just been a huge advocate for the False Claims Act as an enforcement tool for the government. Um, you know, one of the, the key uh, movers and shakers behind both the 86 amendments to the act and the 2009 amendments to the act. And we'll see if he has anything up his sleeve uh, for 2021. Uh, we're gonna throw open, we're gonna throw some questions at him and um, uh, hopefully get some interesting insights from his perspective. Jen, uh, a huge thank you to you and to Natalie Waits for uh, chairing, co-chairing this year's uh, False Claims Act Conference. It is on February 17th, 18th, and 19th. We start each day at 12 o'clock. We'll run uh, to 4.30 or 5, depending upon the day. We look forward to seeing each of you uh, on the virtual platform. You can sign up uh, at fedbar.org, our early bird. Uh, runs through January 22nd of 2021. We look forward to seeing you online on February 17th.